driving safely. <laughs> the same place that there was snow. Yep. Leilani is driving this time. No, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It really is beautiful. The roommates are concerned about it. <laughs> It looks nice. Hold on, boys. <laughs> we made it. I remember driving out this last year. Are you being a... There it is. We made it. Yay. <laughs> the age old problem of Stuck buckets. Oh, hallelujah. Cole's like, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, we've been here a while, dude. Yeah. This is the view. So pretty. You can see people. There's the finish and the start. People are out there pre riding the trail. Gorgeous day. Really rub it in. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Oh. The grunts, though. He's like, you brush me once. Feel better? Do a 50 tomorrow, just like this. Sharon Cole, me on Griffin, Kelly on rope. And we're in Lapine, Oregon. And it's supposed to be 50, high of 54 tomorrow, so it's gonna be nice and cool though. We'll, we'll have no problem keeping coal cooled off, although it doesn't help with the practicing of the sponging, which needs to happen before. Our stirrup length a little bit because she is in her new saddle which she hasn't really trotted much in yet and then I am in my dressage saddle which I haven't been in since my injury some of the first essential that check out check we electrolyted the horses with his regular water and his salty water that has a little bit of grain in it food on a mat it's a nap high oh, and I got my tag put on my saddle and then I just have these ready for in the morning 
so I don't have to think about it. They're just on the stirrup on the side. They go on because I like my Velcro to go to the outside of the hoof. And I'm about to put this away. <laughs> Sorry. It's not funny. But I know. It's funny. It's only funny because we've all done it. I'm gonna let Shira do it. Okay, it is Saturday morning and we are getting on. Shira's putting on her last hoof boot. We had a 5 45 a.m. start time. And I think it's like 5 36. 5.38. So for this ride, we do 20 miles and then an out check, and then it's about 19 miles back. So you really want to make sure you have all your snacks and things that you might want because we will not be back at the trailer until we are 40 miles in. Okay, we're on the first loop. And I'm staying behind Shira because Cole's much slower than Griffin. And it just makes it better for pacing. Kelly's up there ahead of us somewhere. But it is beautiful. I miss the big gorgeous pine trees, but I was just surviving up time. Look at that big Mustang truck. It's okay. Every time I go to record, Cole's like, takes advantage. <laughs> He's like, I don't have to go fast now. All right, Kelly is going to win. We have had a conversation and we have decided it is way too hard to hold the fast Arabs back with Kelly Wari. So we're just gonna walk till she gets out of sight. And uh, then we're gonna go our Mustang shuffle pace. Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> we're videoing each other. Yeah. That's good. Look all out, buddy. Pea break for Cole. I don't know if you can tell he's stretched out there now you can tell <laughs> he looks so short off this tall horse still going <laughs> his noises griffin's just like oh my god dude <laughs> Are you still paying? No. Oh. <laughs> you good? Do I take a board? Yeah, just ask him to take a step. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Gotta keep moving down the trail, sir. You got it, buddy. You got food in front of us. Yeah, there's food in front of us. You got it, buddy. You got food in front of us. Yeah, there's food where we're going. He's like, I'm starving. There's no grass out here to eat. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Cole's doing good. Um, Griffin better through tight in the hind. It's getting stretched out. He's loosening up so much. Good. So I'm feeling good about it. Good. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Be real sad. I know. Might cry a little. Yeah. What do you need, buddy? You got food in front of you. Just outside of our first vet chick. Won't be much for the next, like for the other people. Okay. Well, I think there's not a lot behind us. <laughs> it is eleven twenty-eight. We've been doing pretty good cantering, trotting. We've done a, a fair amount of walking this time because Griffin was tight in the hind when we went through the last, the first vet check. So we're not really sure where we are, how far out we are from the next, but I think we're getting pretty close. Oh. Oh. We got 10 miles to go. We're going to do it. And she fashioned this to make it, make it through. Last loop. Okay. Nope. We're like three miles into our last loop. It's like a little after two. Um, yeah, it's hot. Cold is hot. Shira and I are on our last loop and we could literally probably walk in and but we'll do some little trotting. We're on a slight downhill grade, so just gonna walk this. Kelly got pulled at 40 miles. It's something, same thing that happened at Prineville, so I don't know. She's gonna probably take the rest of the year off and try to figure it out. And yeah, we're thriving. My ankle is hurting very, very bad from being in the saddle. So I don't think I'm gonna ride day two, but maybe Shira will. I don't know. Griffin feels great. And he looks great. He did have a bit of butt cramping at the first hold. We are doing powder electrolytes and I'm just wondering if I didn't get enough in him and then also we were doing like a really slow trot for Cole and I just wonder if he's using his tush more. So it was cold combination of things, but at the last vet check, he looked a hundred percent. So here's hoping. Cliff Notes version of how you got into this. Oh, well, I was working 
as a horseback riding instructor and one day my boss, the owner of the company, the, the, the <laughs> You're making me sound really official. Said, hey Drew, you wanna, you wanna ride my horse? And I was like, hell yeah, I'd love to ride a horse. I don't have a horse to ride. And then, you know, she let that marinate. And then a few days later, maybe like a week. This is not the cliff notes version. <laughs> okay, I'll skip forward. You're fired. <laughs> we have four miles to go. Cole's like, I don't like the dust. from the finish now about four miles ish three miles my ankle's just hurting so I'm baby in it walking's easiest one and a half miles to go man there's a hole in the rock around too kind of cool never seen that before there's people down there now I don't know if you can hear anything I'm saying because it's pretty windy up here but we are almost there there's our all-in sign. We're in the final stretches of our 50 miles. Leilani's up there crushing it. Look at her go. Cole is on his six, second 50 ever. After going just 125 and then straight to another 50 and then his second 50. I know, I was gonna video you. Woo! Yay! Okay, it's Sunday morning and I slept for like 12 hours. <laughs> but it was very painful by the end of the ride yesterday. Me and Shira got completions, which was awesome, on Cole and Griffin. I really wanted to ride Griffin two days, but after riding in that saddle yesterday, I decided that it's better to just instead of re-injuring myself, probably just heal longer because in three weeks we're going to do another ride anyways. And Shira is riding Kelly's second horse, River, right now. So I just, she's going to do a 50 today on River. Anyways, yeah, I just woke up eating a muffin and getting dressed and motivated to pack things up because when Shira gets back done with her 50 today we're going to leave um, I have camp packed up mostly and Cole's being very quiet and good and Griffin is making it clear that he would have been better off to ride two days but yeah it's fine we're waiting for Shira to get in from her first 20 miles or so So Griffin just went 50 miles on Saturday and it's Monday morning. We came home yesterday and this is what he looks like. He looks great, but I really wanted to do back-to-back -back 50s on him. My ankle just wasn't up to it, but he was ready <laughs> and it was a great weekend. Yeah, I'm glad I'm learning to do slower 50s on him because I think it's actually harder than doing fast 50s. Um, it's a different kind of hard, but he's learning to pace himself, be chill behind other horses, and also to take better care of himself because he might be stuck out on the trail a long time. Some people might think that this is thin. Um, he actually scored a six at our vet in, so he's just kind of a slender kind of horse. Uh, when I say six, I mean in his body condition scoring from the vet. But this is my little, <laughs> like, grass pond turnout thing that we just put the horses on when they're uh, grazing in between stuff. They don't stay the night out on this. They're just out on it during the day. 
They love it. Cole also did a 50 on Saturday with Griffin. And he's enjoying his breakfast. Looking good, sir. He's so chunky. He's so hard to keep cool at rides. And I'm just like, I don't know how to make him more slender without just riding the ever-living crap out of him. I mean, I don't want to not feed him. Some things Griffin likes. Oranges. Hey, do you want your orange? He's like, yeah, I do, actually. But I want to know, does your frame like oranges? Oh, <laughs> that was a yes. We're going to need more oranges. This is where I found Cole this morning. He's not in any kind of a fence. But he's very relaxed. I feel bad making him get up. But you have to be in a fence, sir. I'm sorry. You would hate for a car to 